Hello, it's Marco Matoshvic here from Markham3D.com. And in this video, we're going to be setting up background images. Now, Blender 2.8 has got a wonderful feature where I can just get the picture, click and drag. So we've now put it in our uh, scene, a little bit skewed. I'm using Sentinel's character sheets. From here, I want to line it back up perfectly to the X or the Y to the Z. I'm going to do Alt R to reset rotation, Alt G to reset location, Alt S to reset scale. I'm going to first now go into front view. Let's rotate X 90. And I'm going to position it now so that her feet are on the red line. Let's have a look. So about here, I kind of want to follow that seam of the pants there. There, and we can see that we've got the center of the nose. So we've got the center of the character there. However, at the moment, she's about 2.1 blender units high as we can see here one two and a little bit more and i want to scale it if i were to press scale now it would scale from this center point but i want to change to the 3d cursor and i'm going to scale to about 1.8 and holding shift i can make it scale slower and so i have her in the right place now but now if i press numpad 3 i want to be able to see the right hand side view so i'll go back on numpad 1 to go front view and let's go shift D to duplicate and right click to put that back in place. I'm going to rotate by pressing R, Z and 90. So we've now rotated at 90 degrees on the Z axis. I'm going to do to move it over now. I'm going to G, X. No, X isn't the right axis. So we'll go Y and let's line it up about here. So now you can see that we've got the front here. And if we come to the side, we've got the side view. So pressing num uh, numpad one, will go to front. Numpad three, will go to side. We can even tidy this up a little bit more by uh, creating a new collection. So I can uh, right click up here and go new. And we'll call this uh, BG for background. I'm gonna select these two empties, which are these images and put them here. And what I'll do is I'm actually gonna turn off selection. So now I cannot select those images. So while, as I'm modeling, I will not be able to select those images, which just helps the work uh, the workflow a little bit better. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And stay tuned for more videos like this.